The C-MAX engine line includes gasoline and diesel engines. On the Ukrainian market, petrol versions of 1.6 and 1.8 liters are most widespread. Diesel engines are much less common. Among gasoline power units, 1.6 and 2.0 liter engines turned out to be more reliable. 1.8 liter engines may have increased oil consumption, up to 1 liter per 1,000 kilometers. The reason is the occurrence of piston rings. According to the motorists of the branded service, the problem is caused by the sensitivity of this engine to the quality of fuel and the occurrence of soot due to incomplete combustion of low-octane gasoline. In this case, repair of the power unit is required. In all gasoline engines, problems with the throttle valve are possible, its malfunction is manifested by unstable engine operation. Sometimes it was possible to restore the damper's functionality by cleaning, and if this did not help, it was necessary to change it. Feature of most cars. Running on gasoline. The fine fuel filter is made together with the pump, 2.0 liter versions are an exception. Of the diesel versions, it is best to opt for the C-Max with a 1.8 liter engine. Mechanics claim that the 1.6 liter engine is short-lived and by 100,000 kilometers its cylinder piston group may wear out, which is manifested by an increased oil appetite. However, there is a weak point in the 1.8 liter engine, the EGR valve. Over time, it becomes clogged. The malfunction is manifested by increased smokiness of the exhaust gases and a burning check engine light on the instrument panel. A common problem with all diesel engines is the loss of tightness of the rubber pipelines for supplying air to the turbine and ventilation of crankcase gases, they crack over time. The gas distribution mechanism of many power units is equipped with a belt, which the manufacturer recommends changing along with the rollers every 160,000 km. Although the branded service station advises to reduce its replacement to 100,000 km. At the same time, it is necessary to check the thermal clearances of the valves, exception, 1.6 LTD. True, in practice, in most cases, adjustment is not required. But the timing belt of 1.8 and 2.0 liter petrol engines is equipped with a durable metal chain. The most common are C-Max equipped with manual gearboxes, while torque converter and CVT gearboxes are rare. The mechanics who consulted us called the variator the most unreliable gearbox, which Ford later abandoned. Before the mileage of 60 to 90,000 kilometers, the bearings failed. This malfunction was manifested by increased noise of the gearbox when the vehicle was stationary. The most problem-free were automatic transmissions and manual ones with the MTX-75 index. In addition, a manual gearbox with index IB5 was used, in which some characteristic problems were identified. So, over time, it sins by losing the tightness of the axle shaft seals and the gearshift rod. If you do not notice the loss of lubrication in a timely manner, the fifth gear may fail, it suffers first of all. This problem will be indicated by a hum while driving. The reverse gear of this manual transmission is not equipped with a shaft brake mechanism, so it often engages with a characteristic crunch. Although this is not a malfunction, this is a design feature of the mechanics operation. By the mileage of 80,000 km, the support bearing of the right axle shaft may become unusable. The hydraulic clutch works without problems. Despite the high body, the S-Max rides and handles almost the same. Like an ordinary passenger car, thanks to a moderately rigid but energy-intensive suspension, the rear is multi-link with a passive steering effect, inherited from the Focus. However, characteristic problems also migrated from it. For example, the wheel bearings of both axles do not have a very long service life and can hum after a mileage of 80,000 km. The weak points of the front suspension are the shock absorbers, which can sweat a lot of oil after a run of 60,000 km, and the support bearings of the struts, they can begin to crunch after 40,000 km. The remaining consumables of the chassis are quite durable, ball joints and silent blocks of the front levers can run about 150,000 km, rubber bands of the rear multi-link suspension, almost 200,000 km. Many branded chassis parts are replaced as an assembly with levers, but non-original consumables can be purchased separately. The rack and pinion steering of many versions of the C-Max is equipped with a hydraulic booster. A characteristic weak point of this unit is the power steering high-pressure pipe, which loses its seal at the junction with the pump. The steering of expensive versions is powered by an electric hydraulic booster, which changes the degree of power depending on the speed. The mechanics have no comments on the reliability of this unit. 
Tie rod ends in all versions are maintained for at least 100,000 kilometers. The service technicians have no complaints about the car's braking system. By the way, in expensive versions, the brakes also have an electric feature, an electric handbrake drive. During operation, this unit does not create any problems. We would recommend the C-Max model. First of all, fans of the Ford brand who need a spacious and at the same time functional car. Thanks to these qualities, this car is perfect for family people, including young people. They will like its pretty good driving characteristics. If this compact van interests you, we recommend that you take into account the problem areas identified during operation and, when choosing a car, pay attention to more reliable versions.